Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. I dedicate this video to small channels. Small channels that are subscribed to me and small channels that I subscribe to. I have gotten so many new subscribers in the past 72 hours and I subscribe to um, quite a few of, well, pretty much any new subscriber I get that has a channel, I do subscribe to you guys as well. So I've noticed that many of you guys have small channels starting out and I have had my channel for a year. So I thought I would share a little bit of what I've learned in my first year of having my channel. First, um, nervousness about doing videos and making videos goes away very, very quickly. Whether you use a vlogging camera or your laptop, a camcorder, your cell phone, the first few videos are, yeah, you do get nervous. I mean, I was probably, I want to say, for the first five, six videos I did. After a while, you just get comfortable with it. It's no different than talking to a friend over a cup of coffee. It becomes so easy, so natural. You don't, you don't even think about it. It just becomes, like, second nature, I guess you could say. So, nerves do go away. Trust me, they do. Um, with having a channel, once you start regularly uploading content, you do, at some point, need to learn some basic editing. Um, I have editing software that came with my Elite Book, my laptop and I use that um, for the rare videos I do with my cell phone. I do have free software on there that I can use to edit videos as well. But for the most part, I do use the basic um, software that came here on my laptop. My title card, the pink card that says The Poverty Princess. Um, I also put like a title, text, at the beginning of my videos, um, in the summer I had butterflies or roses falling, uh, sometimes I did rain, winter time I do snow a lot, especially around the holidays, um, just different little effects, you know. I was scared, truthfully, um, weeks ago to actually trim videos, video clips because I was afraid I would butcher it up. And to be honest, I just did several silly videos to practice with, honestly. Um, but now, especially if I'm doing the DIY, and there may be, you know, a lot of steps in it, but I don't want to really have a video over 20 minutes for it, then I can go through clip by clip and edit and just basically keep the important stuff. So, you do need to, at some point, learn even just basic editing. Now, what I want to work on next is music in some of my videos, some nice background music, especially around the holidays. So, probably in November, I'm going to be practicing a little bit with that. Um, that's the next thing that I have to work on. Um, you don't need to spend money that you don't have. There is a lot of good, free, basic software um, available on Google Play and the Apple Store that you can use for your videos. You don't need anything fancy. I mean, someday, sure, I would like to have, you know, really professional stuff. I'd like to have a vlogging camera. But, you know, hey, we're going step by step, doing things little by little. And I will get that sometime. Not right now, but down the road, I will. So, there is a lot of good software out there that is free. 
um, I've included some of the software that I do use um, on my phone and for converting uh, videos I have the info down below when you do start uploading videos try to piece yourself and at a minimum say of two videos a week maybe like at the beginning of a week and a video towards the end of a week is usually pretty good um, I think two is good as a minimum that's doable um, I know once in a while um, you know you may do you know an unexpected video or something and that's fine you know by all means go for it but when you're just starting out with your channel you don't need to go mad crazy um, making videos peace yourself your channel should reflect things that you're interested in if you make jewelry you know then yeah your channel's going to be about making jewelry um, but maybe you also enjoy cooking so you can have playlists you know related to jewelry making but you could also have playlists related to cooking um, especially if maybe you're on a diet maybe gluten-free recipes or something we all have different things that we're interested in and it's cool to have your channel reflect the things that you like but again pace yourself don't spread yourself so thin that you're going crazy trying to bang out four or five videos each week I have several different playlists but I don't add videos to them every week um, and I may do a wish haul I may do a boba haul those are my two videos maybe I'll do a third unexpectedly if I get a bunch of samples and maybe I'll do a sample video then the following week I might do um, a video for my Dollar Tree food blog I might also maybe um, do a nail review so you can have different playlists but you need to pace yourself um, especially when you're starting out because everyone has lives um, some of you have small children some of you may be taking care of your parents people working and so everybody has different responsibilities we are fortunate with having small channels in that we can um, take our time you know we are not okay I apologize for that for whatever reason Cortana opened up mm, very weird sorry about that guys um, we are fortunate in that I guess you could say that we can look at our channels as a hobby and not as per se a job I mean I often wonder what it's like for really big youtubers for example say like Markiplier or Jeffree Star um, that you know really become big on YouTube I can only imagine you know pressure that they feel sometimes to upload so many videos and to like keep a certain I guess quota or whatever and um, I can understand why, you know, some YouTubers after doing it for several years take a break and say, hey guys, I'm, you know, taking a little vacay from everything. I could understand that. I guess the bigger you are, the more work and the more pressure you do feel. Um, one of the youtubers that I follow and I enjoy her videos um, her name is Mar a very pretty girl um, her and her husband they do all kind of <laughs> cool videos I get a kick out of them everything from like the worst rated hairdresser in her town to um, going overseas to a Gucci store wearing fake Gucci and she does all kind of cool videos she um, 
said that she needed to take a break. It was getting to her. And that's understandable. She has been on YouTube for several years straight doing this. Um, you know, she's young. And I commented, you know what? Go on a nice long vacation with your hubby. Don't even go on social media. Take pictures, you know, whatever. I gather she probably has videos, you know, that she can still upload. Um, but she took some needed time. So that's why I said about piecing yourself. Because even a person with a small channel, I guess, can get very overwhelmed too. Pace yourself and enjoy what you're doing. Now, I know that YouTube was a lot different years ago. Um, it's changed a lot, you know, prior to me coming into it. And uh, I was a little bummed out in the summer when they changed it as far as being able to do a live video. I would look, wanted to have a nice little outdoor chat. And they made that so it is a little harder for smaller channels. I do agree that some of the changes YouTube has made do make it harder for smaller channels. But by the same token, I think everyone should set small, realistic goals for themselves. For example, you have five subscribers. Set a goal for yourself of uh, 20 subscribers. And then when you reach it, um, set another goal for yourself. Say 50 subscribers. You'll be surprised when you do reach that. Um, you know, it's an amazing feeling like, wow, I can actually do this. Don't be afraid to interact with your subscribers. If someone likes a video of yours and comments, thank them. Um, one of your subscribers has a channel, by all means, show them some love and support and subscribe to their channel. Small channels need to support other small channels. That's just how I feel about it. I'm not saying I don't watch um, bigger channels, because I do. I do. But I do also have... Um, a lot of small channels that I subscribe to as well. So I have a mix of subscriptions. Everything from gals who do nails to urban explorers to um, cooking to crafts and DIYs um, to some people, you know, who uh, basically just shared their struggles with losing weight, you know, um, and a lot of different um, subscribers and subscriptions. So, you know, I'm grateful that YouTube does give folks that platform. Um, don't be afraid to have a small giveaway when you reach a certain goal. It's always nice to let your subscribers know that you appreciate them. And that is why I think I enjoy um, giveaways. I really do. Um, I enter a few of them. I haven't won any yet, but I do enjoy like planning them when I get close to reaching another goal um, because it's nice. And there's even simple um, apps in the App Store that you can use for something like that. So you don't need to, you know, spend a lot of money to get a channel up and running. You basically just need either a good laptop or a camera um, and obviously a good internet. And lastly, I just want to say have fun. Have fun with your channel. Let your channel reflect you, your interests. Um, would you believe that I had this channel, but it was just sitting, not doing anything for several years. Um, at one point, I was really interested in 
Pennsylvania Urban Exploration. Um, however, I, mm, the guy I was seeing didn't share my enthusiasm for things like that, so I kind of scratched that idea of what I wanted to do with my channel, but yeah, I did kick that idea around. Um, I actually subscribe to a few people who do do urban explorations. I get the biggest kick out of them. I think there's nothing more cool, really, than going into, um, you know, an, an old home and seeing old furniture and people's mementos and, you know, just wondering, like, what the people were like that lived there and, you know, were they happy? Did they, you know, enjoy being there? Um, it's also a lot of times like a, a time capsule, looking back at a period of time. For example, like a, a home, like say frozen in the 70s, it is really cool to see, you know, the 70s style furniture, curtains, rugs, you know, for example. Um, I enjoy being a part of YouTube. I feel that you don't have to be any certain age to have a YouTube channel. Um, all I can say too, if you know you have a new channel up and running, basically, you know, just have fun with it. Um, be careful as far as music. Even if you somebody may be watching, you know, TV or listening to music in another room, be very careful with music. YouTube are sticklers for copyright issues with music and that, so I haven't had any issues like that. I haven't had any flags with any of my videos, um, you know, and I want to keep it that way, so I try to be careful of that too. All I can basically say is, um, you know, go with the flow. If you notice that, um, you know, some of your subscribers seem to like a certain type of your videos as compared to a number of other ones, then you might want to maybe focus more on that particular kind of video. Um, not saying give up doing other things, but you might want to pursue those particular videos a little more. You can still upload the other content as well. You may have different um, subscribers who like your channel for different videos. And that's perfectly okay, too. So, guys, um, you know, I just want to say, you know, welcome. Welcome to my channel. And I am welcoming you to YouTube. And um, guess what, guys? You keep an eye on me. I will be keeping my eyes on you, too. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so, so much for your support and checking out my videos. I will be seeing you guys real soon. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.